Have you been approached by a journal or senior scientist with an offer to write a literature review? If yes, then keep watching. My name is Katrina Kolkova and I have been a scientist for almost 20 years. I've published scientific papers that also include writing a review paper. Today, I would like to share with you some main tips on writing a review. First of all, literature reviews are in great demand in most scientific fields. If you are starting from scratch, reviewing the literature can require a titanic amount of work. That's why, if you have spent your career working on a certain research issue, you are in a perfect position to review that literature. The main outlines for writing a review are Pick a topic you are interested in and that you have experience researching and that is also interesting to others. Give yourself plenty of time to write a scientific review. Compiling years of scientific progress into a short review article is not so easy and it requires good understanding of the literature and implications of the discoveries made of thus far. However, once you start reading, there will be a temptation to include every piece of information that was ever published, so it's good to decide on the main topic for the review straight from the beginning. Make a structural outline and get the journal submission rules for review articles. It is nice to have formal rules for structuring your review, so you stick to the, to the accepted word limit and format already from the beginning, shaping your paper according to journal criteria. Be very well acquainted with the literature, so start reading a lot. This includes familiarizing yourself with the content. Look for areas that have not been thoroughly reviewed or areas for which you think you have a fresh take on all data. One of the most painful things that can happen is to spend days reading and writing about a topic only to notice later that there is a section of another review article that explains the same area, references the same set of papers and comes to the same conclusions. Make notes while reading the literature. Establish a system for making notes and group them while you make them. Analyze published scientific literature. A review paper is not a pure summary of the information you read for a review. You are required to analyze, synthesize, interpret and view information you read in some meaningful way. It is not only you know, it's only a long presentation of the material you have found. You must go beyond that and explain its relevance and significance to the topic at hand. Remember to discuss significant findings. Use figures and graphics and remember references to original sources of the information and illustrations. Remember to make your own unique conclusions, since it is a crucial part of the paper and these conclusions can hopefully help other scientists to see review material from a new perspective and shed a new light on what is known in the field. Discuss the future of the field. By our own human nature, we would like to look forward in the future, so speculate on how the future will improve our understanding of the field. And important, ask for feedback. This could be your colleagues and, of course, mentor. They have fresh look, fresh view on the field and fresh eyes on what you have written. So this is very, very important and invaluable. Good luck with writing.